Hi everyone, this is Mr. Gun from Tinker Math Learning Center. So today we'll be looking at one of the uh, interesting questions asked by my student as well. So this question is on the um, uh, ABGP. I think uh, this is financial arithmetic. So uh, let's look at how do we solve this uh, properly. This question was taken from the, uh, the school paper, uh, NJC, uh, question 5, uh, the U 2011 printing paper, all right? I'm not sure whether it's paper 1 or paper 2, but anyway, this is uh, the modified question. Uh, it was taken from one of the school tutorials, right? So a university student has a goal of saving at least a million in Singapore dollars. He begins working in uh, at the start of the year 2019. Uh, in order to achieve his goal, he saved forty percent of his annual sal salary at the end of each year. If his annual sal salary in the year two thousand nineteen is forty thousand and eight hundred dollars, and it, it increases by five percent of his previous year's annual salary every year, find his saving at the end of the year two thousand seven twenty twenty seven. Okay, great. So let's let's look at how do we solve this question properly. I typically will tell my student that. In order for you to do this question proficiently, what you need is actually your management, your uh, your management of your your uh, your working is very important. Presentation and also your pattern recognition. So um, let's 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 just dive into it. So at the start, um, uh, you want to save forty percent, right? So basically, you start with the year two thousand nineteen. So I'm just gonna put uh two thousand nineteen here. I think at the start. Of the year and this is end of year okay so there you go and then uh, you basically if his annual salary is 200 is 480 and it increased by 5 okay great uh, he's saving at the end of 2000 so this is 2019 okay so he he would have um, he would earn um, 40 thousand eight hundred right amount that he will save is actually uh, just multiply with I, I'm just gonna cut it out I think it's easier that way because this is uh, what he saves right he saves here he saves uh, 4800 times 0 0.4 oh this is pretty interesting that's 0 0.4 like what he saves so I'm just gonna put this he saves okay because overall you just need to multiply by 0.4 right so subsequently uh what happens is uh he the next current the next year you know that uh 2020 it will be 40,800 uh increased by 5% so we multiply 1.05 right and basically what happens is uh this this year you will just save with 408 oh actually this is not too bad 1.05 times 0 0.40 is that right so uh do not um do not king calculator so just leave it as the ex uh factorized form so it's easier uh then he's saving at the end of two the minutes find the he's saving at okay, great so now uh we know that okay i'm just gonna try and expand more just right until you could see until uh, the end what what it, it gets right so this would be the third year this is his amount that he saves right I mean he earns because uh, every year you increase you you uh he has an increment of five percent so you just multiply one point zero five here then after that you just multiply forty percent here so this is what he saves right so four zero eight zero zero one point zero five square zero point four zero great okay so he's saving you're asked to find his saving at the end of two uh 2027 so 2027 would mean that how many terms you have here okay so i sort of like could tell right the subsequent term i just need to add so when uh, anchoring is important so this is the first year this would be um 0 0.40 to the power zero and this is the second year this is power of oh sorry um 1.05 to the power zero this is one and this is oh is the same actually the Point four zero is the same throughout so 3 and then we want to find 2000, uh, 2027 how many years are there so to find the number of years basically you just take this and minus of this but you plus 1 right so I'm just going to take the number of years so 2, 2, 270 minus 2019 plus 1 right so that's uh, that's the number of years that I get so it's plus 1 here 
So king calculator. So I'm just bring my special calculator with us. Okay. 2727 minus 2019 plus 1 gives us 9. So this is actually 9 years. So in the 9th year, I know that I'm going to save 40800, 1.05 to the power of 8, 0 0.4. You see that the pattern recognition is important because I know that when this is 3, this is 2. When this is 2, this is 1. And when this is 1, this is uh, 0. Right? So when this is 9, you know that this is 8. Okay, that's 8. So in other words, now you, the total sum that you're looking at, this is a GP. You know that this is a GP. So this is a GP is sum to the ninth term, where your first term, your first term is actually 40800, 0 0.40. Every subsequent term you multiply with 1.05. Right? You add all this up, this all add it up, right? So every subsequent term, so this, okay, let me write it out for you so that you can see. Plus four zero eight zero 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 point four five plus four zero eight zero zero one point zero five square and so on, right? So this is the first term. This is the R. This is the R, right? This is the R. Multiply with R. So every time you. So I'm just gonna use a GB formula, which is actually uh, A R n minus 1 r minus 1 right so a is 408000 0.4 and this is 1.05 to the power of 9 minus 1 1.05 minus 1 so king calculator you get 40 0 0.4 times 1.05 to the power of 9 minus 1 is 1.05 minus 1 so this will give us he saves one seven nine nine five three point five two nine seven. But what do they want in to the nearest dollar? So this would be one seven nine nine five four nearest dollar. All right, there you go. Great. So he saves. Um, this is. 100, 100, 100, 179,000 so it's 180,000 so he's totally saving at the end of n year so that's okay I think at the end of n year total saving at the end of n year would just be uh, the second one just be SN lah. so we're just going to use the same formula so this here is for 800 0 0.4 1.05 n uh, minus 1 over 1.05 minus 1 so this is the time 0 0.4 divided by so you could just keep calculator for this value here so what is left is 3 2 6 4 0 0 1.05 and minus 1 right there you go um yeah let me check my answer okay great great yeah now what is the minimum number of, of years complete for which he has to work to achieve his goal which is one million dollars lah so oh that's all right i think that's okay so the last part we could just use uh you want sn to be more than one million right right that, that's what we need to do and it's three marks it's a bit uh, uh okay three marks did i read this question wrong okay so basically you need this. Uh, I'm just gonna use the formula here which is three two six four zero zero one zero five n minus one one two three. Now this just be, be mindful of the zeros because you um missing by one zero would really cost you a lot in this case. So this will be uh six two five two zero four plus one one point zero five n. So I'm just gonna use um, logarithm to solve this. So this is okay, I think. So ln one point zero five n ln eight two nine two zero four. So ln eight two nine divided by ln one point zero five. This is n. So he needs uh he needs twenty nine years. Right, so 
minimum number of years Twenty nine years. Okay, that's it. Yeah, this is how you solve this question proficiently. So yes, any question comments, please do leave under the comment section below. Um, if you want to learn about our live lesson, please do visit um our website. Okay, thank you very much.